is George from High Tech Legion. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new product from Asus, the P8Z77i Deluxe Motherboard. The P8Z77i, as the model number might indicate, is a P8Z77 chipset, and the I standing for Mini ITX. As you can see, it says Mini Max Home Entertainment Center right up top. Uh, what Asus has done is taken all the features of the Z77 chipset and put them into a mini ITX board which is going to be not only uh, home entertainment oriented but is going to have all the performance features that the Z77 is able to offer. Taking a look at the front of the box, uh, we've got all the markings of course with the Minimax PCI Express 3.0 ready. Uh, so you've got a mini ITX board that's PCIe uh, 3.0 which is going to be very very unusual. Looking further down, you're going to see uh, that it is a DigiVRM motherboard. This uses a full-size VRM, as you're going to see when we take a look at the board itself. It is capable of DDR3-2400 with an overclock, USB 3.0 turbo boost, it's got network eye control, as well as Wi-Fi Go. Uh, both of those are going to be very, very interesting to use in a home entertainment center, the, uh, enabling you to use a smartphone as a remote control. Uh, stream from just about anywhere and turn the motherboard itself into a Wi-Fi hotspot. Going around the back of the box, we're going to see some features uh, that we don't normally associate with a Mini-ITX motherboard. All the features laid out, Windows 7 ready, Intel Z77 chipset, Mini-ITX, supports Intel Core, i3, i5, i7. It's compatible with any 1150, socket 1155 CPU. Virtue MVP is included. So it's a home entertainment center. You want to do your transcoding right in your home entertainment center? Not a problem. Got you covered. DTS Ultra PC2 and DTS Connect. Now if you take a look at the picture of the motherboard itself, very small, two Wi-Fi antennas are included. So Wi-Fi Go is going to enable you to turn this into a Wi-Fi hotspot. You're going to be able to access just about anything. Your streaming is going to be perfect. You're going to have great home interconnectivity with your HTPC. Very important. Also, show you using a smartphone as a remote control. It's completely capable of that. USB 3.0 boost. Uh, some people might be, ah, oh, it's just, you know, faster USB 3.0. What do I need that for in my home theater? Well, if you're going to be using it as a home theater, you're going to be transferring some larger files with the movies. You're also going to be transferring a lot of music back and forth, more than likely. If it is going to be a true home entertainment center, let it be. Let it hold your entire iPod collection right there. Sync your iPod right here, and it's going to be faster if your iPod, of course, is USB 3.0. Um, so you're going to get a lot of use out of the USB 3.0 boost in a home theater system. Getting into the box and taking a look at the Z77i Deluxe itself, obviously it's got some oddities right off the bat. Uh, taking a look at the board, obviously mini ITX, but a full-size Digi VRM is mounted in a vertical position from the board right next to the CPU where you'd normally expect to find it. Uh, typically though, you're not going to see a board like this. You're not going to see this type of DigiVRM in a mini ITX board. Moving around, taking a look, obviously CMOS battery, fan connectors, two RAM ports, two USB 3.0, or I'm sorry, two USB 2.0 ports, one USB 3.0, port right here, one PCI Express 3.0, four SATA, three right here. Taking a look at panel, four USB 2.0, digital audio, HDMI, display port, DVI, two hookups for your two included Wi-Fi antennas, two USB 3.0, Gigabit LAN. These are two USB Turbo ports, two eSATA, and of course your audio output. Going around the board, of course, you've got your motherboard power as well as 8 pin selectable to 4 pin CPU power. Uh, definitely different from what we've seen in any other mini ITX board. And taking a look around the back, I mean, obviously, this is a good full-size VRM, not just a little throwaway. So you're going to be able to actually do some overclocking if you want to. Uh, it's going to be a little hard, of course, in a mini ITX platform to get a large cooler, but you're going to be able to get an overclock out of it. 
as well as know that you're going to have some great stability. It's a very well laid out board, easy to work with, everything makes absolute sense on the board. Going around the back, back plate, nice and solid. These two bolts are for shipping only. They are to hold the VRM in place during shipping. Uh, they will come out before you mount the board, very important. Really clean, clean circuit board, beautifully laid out. Nice heat sinks, really good looking board, and definitely different from what we've seen from a mini ITX board in the past. So let's get a look at the accessories for the P8Z77i Deluxe. First, naturally, user manual, fully illustrated, very easy to use, good brief going over, as well as some very good instruction on the actual installation of components. Moving on, find the two Wi-Fi antennas. They are spherical and will lay flat and plug directly into the motherboard. Got the Asus Q connector. This is for your front panel connectors, plugs into the motherboard, and each of your individual front panel connectors will plug into here. It's going to make life a little easier if you're using a very tight um, case. You're going to be able to have a little room to work with plugging in your front panel connectors. Back I.O. plate clearly marks the two different USB 3.0 ports, two SATA 3 and two SATA 2 cables. With the P8Z77i Deluxe, Asus is definitely taking the way we think about a mini ITX board and kind of turning it on its side. It is, of course, aimed at uh, home entertainment and HTPC, and it takes full advantage of all of Asus's features to do so, including the Wi-Fi Go, which is going to be huge uh, in a home theater application, as is USB 3.0 Boost. You've got uh, the Wi-Fi Go also includes two antennas and is going to enable you to turn the board into a Wi-Fi hotspot in your home, connecting with everything in the home and allowing you to use that as your hotspot rather than needing necessarily a second router involved. Also, Asus has taken the Mini ITX and given it enough features where it's going to take advantage of the uh, Z77 chipset and be able to offer some performance. It's the only Mini ITX board I've seen with a full-size Digi VRM attached to the board. It is in a tiny bit of an awkward spot, but um, it really should not interfere with anything you're doing as far as cooling if you're going to stay in a Mini ITX case. Obviously, in a much larger case, if you're trying to go to a larger cooler, it may impede. Uh, 2400 uh, DDR3 is capable with an overclock, and also you've got the PCI 3.0 uh, included just the one slot. Obviously, Mini ITX, you're not going to be running any type of SLI or Crossfire. So you've got a really interesting home theater solution from Asus that really goes above and beyond everything we've seen before in a Mini ITX.